guys, how are you guys doing today? We are back with episode 2 of Class Breakdown and this time we're going to be going over the Storm class, one of the most popular, versatile and powerful class in Pirate Galaxy. As you guys can see here, I am at a hangar somewhere and we are looking at the Draconis Storm. Now I said that I'm gonna be using soul ships, but I just recently finished my Drac Storm and I wanna use it because I think it looks pretty cool and I have a lot of cool stuff on it. So, the Storm class, what is it all about? Well, first of all, the Storm class has three capabilities, um, three offensive capabilities that it can destroy its enemies with. Blasters, rockets, and its very own thermal blast. The thermal blast is basically a incinerating um, incinerator slash flamethrower type of um, DOT. And it is, if you don't know what DOT is, it is damage over time. And depending on which kind of thermal blast you have, the HP of your opponent will either vanish or burn slowly. As you guys can already see in the preview that I showed you with the cinematic and hopefully that looks pretty cool to you guys so i hope you guys enjoy that part the storm class is actually pretty fast for its class having this much firepower on its side it is actually i think it's pretty fast second only to only the engineer now some somebody pointed out that i was using relative number um on the last episode so this episode I'll, it'll be a little different and i'll be using um, things like very high, low, average, high, very low, and low because um, those are fan-made numbers and I thought about it like this that's why my, this video has been going on um, like it hasn't been like going on a YouTube channel and that is the, another main reason why I like I thought about it and I don't think that's a very good way to uh, distinguish each ship by using numbers that aren't real because Pirate Galaxy never gave us a thing that is real um, so that well a specification that the ship you know the stats the actual stats of the ship so I'm not gonna tell you guys that anymore instead I'll be using high low very high um, and very low you know the type that type of deal and it'll be super easy for you guys to understand so with that being said like I said before the storm class is actually pretty fast um, second best to only the engineer so it has a pretty good amount of speed so it has a pretty very high amount of speed and the best part is it is the third highest attack power rate of any ship in the game so the storm class does very well with offense as well however the storm class doesn't have any defense the Reptor doesn't count. The Reptor brings back your HP, but I don't think that, that counts as a, as a uh, defense. But, um, you know, excuse me, I had a, I, I had a thing uh, going on. But the Storm class can deal a lot of damage over time, can deal a lot of DPS, and um, it's it's able to get away with it because it's actually pretty fast. Now, when we talk about armor of the Storm class, it is actually the third uh, strongest class. Um, you know, star, uh, strongest common class in the game, as in storm, engineer, stun, sniper, defender. You know, uh, the you know the common core um, classes. So it's actually pretty good. It's standing pretty high at a very good average amount of armor, which you know, of course, it's not gonna have tank armor, but it has a pretty decent amount of armor. So it's relatively high as well. It's not as low as the stun class or the engineer class, but it's it's up there. It's pretty high. So, instead, um, how about I go to the place right now because that's it about the class. As you guys can see, the Storm class or most of the Storm class, they really roll in style with blasters and rockets. The rockets will always chase your opponent. It will continue to chase your opponent until it hits or miss the opponent. If you have an in computer up, it is always 99.9% .9 it is always going to hit. I have I rarely seen rockets miss with aim computer up unless you you using like a really high rocket and using a really a really really low aim computer. So um, this is my Dra Draconis sniper and it's not sniper. This is my Draconis storm and uh, this is what it has. 
Now I have regular rockets and rare ink computer. Now that is important because that has a chance to miss, okay? If they were the same type of aim computer, it is always 100%. They will never miss. So if you have, so let's say that I have um, you know, Draconis Ancient Rockets, and then I have Draconis Ancient Aim Computer, then they will never miss. Also, if you have a Draconis Ancient Strong Aim Computer, that will never miss as well. The long does lose a little bit of accuracy. However, it does make your rockets still hit. So it, you know, you still have a pretty high chance to, of hitting your opponent with it. So, um, you know, that's that's mainly the cool part about the Storm class. The Storm class has one of the strongest um, attack in the game, which are the rockets. The rockets deal AOE or AOE, um, and they are able to demolish their enemies really, really quick with um, AOE effects. Now. The Thermal Blaster. The Thermal Blaster is really fun, depending on which one you have. I have the Ancient Strong, so when you lit somebody on fire, their health is gonna vanish. It is, it is gonna like, you know, just like bring their health down really fast. And if you know what you're doing with the Thermal, you can make it so that your opponent can't even heal. How does that? Well, you shoot them with your blaster, you shoot them first with the rockets, have, of course, have your M computer up, and then once your rockets are about to come back, hit your enemy with the thermal blaster, and then hit them with the rocket right away, and then they'll lose a crap ton of, of, uh, of um, HP. But that's only for the strong thermal blast. The strong thermal blast is there to just demolish your enemies really, really quickly, and it's mainly used in PP. However, that thermal blast is the only ancient thermal blast I have. That is why I have it, I have it on there. So, also another thing about the um, the storm class, it has a perforator. It is it allows it to cut through enemy shields, which is very important. That goes through protector. That goes through shield. Now, some people have told me perforator goes through aim scrambler. No, it does not. It does not go through aim scrambler. Red Aim Scrambler, if you hit the enemy, it is a random number generator that allows you to hit the enemy. Aim Computer helps your accuracy and your critical hit rate goes up very high. Your critical damage will not increase. Your critical rate will increase and your accuracy will increase. If you have your Aim Computer up, 99.9% .9 of the time, your blasters and your rockets are going to be doing very good amount of damage because they're always hitting. If your rockets miss, that's that 0-1% that just came in and just screwed you over. However, it is it is the chances of that actually happening is really, really rare. I have I have that happen to me once every like I don't know. Like once every never. <laughs> I, I actually now that I think about it. But now yeah, now you now you guys know the main course of the um, of the storm class. However, if you guys are playing storm class, you guys might have seen that the three key is the rockets and not and not the repair droid. I think they did this so that you can shoot your rockets a lot easier and you can you know tap it a lot easier. But it does change the gameplay because the tank class and all the other class they have their rep droid at three and everything you know below it is their special. Um, the storm class is, is a little different, and uh, and they uh, they instead put the three key as the rockets. However, I don't think that's a problem. You just gotta get used to it. The rockets, remember, are very powerful. They are the sec. They are like they are the second strongest attack in the game. I believe Agro Bomb is number one. Rockets is number two, and Orbital Strike is number three, depending on which ship. However, we're playing storm class. So storm class, it's extremely hard with rockets. Now I have regular ancient rockets. I don't have strong rockets, fortunately. I do have strong rockets on other um, on other ships that I will show you, and I can show you what it does. But oh, um, ancient rockets do just fine. All right, guys. So let's go to Gazica, and that is where I'll be showing off the storm class and its uh, foliest. Now I'm not gonna do the Mantis Hive because that plays. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be saving that for the missions, and then you guys can fully see 
what you know all the ships um, play together and plus when I do missions I switch ships around however we're doing storm class breakdown so I'm gonna be showing off the storm class when I get to Gazica I'll see you guys there in just a bit and I cannot wait to show you uh, show you guys the storm class Alrighty guys, we are here in orbit of, of Gazica and one of the most vicious planet. I hate this planet actually. <sighs> that freaking taunting smile right there. Yeah, I hate this planet. But, let's go. Now, the reason why I chose Gazica is because there's a lot of units there and it's and the planet is more clustered. I'm not saying that um, Gazica doesn't have, uh, you know, uh, doesn't uh, what's it called does have more units or more mantis than the hive it's just you know a little bit more um, lightning and not lightning a little bit more brighter than the hive and I want to get some color in when I when I do these videos so I do think about which planet look the best so that you guys you know don't have to look at a you know black and, and red theme the whole entire time just you know get, get some colors in you know what I mean anyways so as you guys can see, the storm is pretty fast. Um, you guys can check out its mobility right here. Um, it's a lot faster than the tank, I'll tell you that much. Well, it's not really a lot faster. It's, 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 you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent, but... Um, how about we shoot up... Uh, let, let, let's go shoot up some things here. Let's go shoot up some things here. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Of course, when I want to shoot some things, not there. Alright, so Custodian, Custodian Commander. When you first start a fight, you always want to shoot your rockets first. Hit up your aim computer, and then blaster. Boom. Super easy. Take out your opponent, and as you guys can see, we are taking down our opponents like it's nothing. Look at that. Our critical, um, our critical rates go up pretty high, and they are able to just demolish enemies. I need to turn up the effects down. Alright. So while you have your computer up, as you can see, our blasters almost always hit. And then when we launch our rockets, they do quite a lot of damage. They mostly will if you combine your blasters and your um and your rockets together, they'll probably do a crap ton of damage. Now this is the death squad. How about we take it on, yeah? Um death squad. I'm gonna shoot our blaster before it gets there. Bam! Look at that. Gone. Very nice. Okay, so because there any commander. Not bad, not too bad. We're hitting it, we're hitting every single one of our shots. So it shouldn't um, you know do too much to us. And that is it for Mr. DS. Keep in mind I'm not using any drones, I'm not using any type of um, boosting. Um, consumables I don't have any um, amplifying modules I don't have any of that so you're looking at the, sh the ship as raw as it can be all right so I'm gonna pick up my gravity I'm gonna pick up power knight because money is good all right I need it <laughs> need it so as you guys can see Raven Dynamics is up right now and yes there will be a video on it um, this video will be probably posted on Monday because I, ju I, I just have been having some life issues that I have to, uh, you know, square, square up, you know, <laughs> it, I just, it, is that a good terminology? I don't think that would, um, to, you know, sort it out and, you know, in my opinion, life comes first and, uh, and video games second, but I put video games very, very high in my priority list, so it's still pretty high all right it's like the second thing besides life but stun turrets so how about we show off the capabilities of the um aoe effect of course activate i'm gonna activate my m computer one blaster shot bam that is it really really easy and how about we show off the thermal so that's what happens when you add thermal your enemies now depending on which one you have which i have the strong one um, the strong one will always do a lot more damage, well not a lot more damage, will always make your enemy's health go down a lot quicker than normal. So keep that in mind. Every single ancient thermo does the same amount of damage. The only difference between each thermo is that the long thermo lasts the longest and deals the damage over time a lot longer. The strong thermo deals a lot of damage but a very short amount of time. 
However, they do do the same damage, so it doesn't matter which one you have. It's just that um, you know, one one of them you can use your rep droid against, and the other you can't. Very, not very well, that is. The other one is meant for like super quick kills. And look at that. When we crit, we kill these pyros instantly. So our crit, crit rate is really, really good um, while, while having an aim computer up. Now, the Storm class is one of the best classes to grind because rockets, AoE, oh yeah, I love it. And they come back pretty decently fast as well. So how about we go and take on, take on some of these uh, harvesters here. And um, I'll, I'll show you guys what it can do. Ooh, money. I want money. I love money. You guys like money? Okay, so let's find one of these harvesters. Keep in mind there's also other crap around you. So um, make sure you uh, leave that alone. Alright, not really destroy them. But, so harvester. Look at that. We're able to just, you know, do this. Do, you know, just shoot them on the side here. Alright, so once you have three interceptors... Uh oh you're able to do that <laughs> you're able to do a, such a insane amount of damage i think that was a super high roll on you know the um, Ooh, see that's what happens when it miss when you when your rockets miss you have to do all this work again and i misjudge how fast my m computer was gonna come back that's okay you know we have blasters that can do pretty good amount of damage to these guys so we should be fine i'm not too worried about these um interceptors doing too much damage to me but i will be concerned when they get too close like this detonator and look at that when we crit we instantly kill them very nice now what you can do is that um how about i show you instead keep in mind these are um uh what, what's it called harvesters from drac so they do a uh, rockets so keep that in mind guys be sure to keep that in mind when you're killing them because they do have uh they, they do have what's uh rockets but look at that we took out that whole cluster very nice and we got you know decent amount of money um pretty easy to grind in a storm class because of the in computer the rockets and you know if you fire those rockets that are you know uh, don't have an aim computer you do have a chance of missing but you know what's life without a little gamble right bam and even the rockets crit when the rockets crit that's when that's when you're like oh that's so good <laughs> all right so that's 10 no 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 ds let's go take it on come here and i want to get there before for the aim computer yeah. bam very easy you know, the custodian commander is going to stun me, but that's okay. You know, I, I'm i not scared of that. Because w once you take out the main course, there's nothing left. Le there's there's nothing left. Gone. <laughs> now, uh, when you're fighting detonators, it can be a little different. Because my aim computer just ran out at the perfect time, but it's okay. Um, you know, when you're fighting something more armored, like a detonator, like a custodian commander... Uh, excuse me like a custodian commander keep in mind that they can um they have a lot more armor so just gotta be a little careful so how about i shoot this guy without um m computer now sometimes okay this is just from my personal experience rockets do have a tendency to hit a lot more when you do damage and the rockets hit at the same time now that's just from my personal experience and I'm not saying that that is 100% true, but that is from my personal experience that I've seen so far. When your thermo is going, okay, when your thermo is hitting your opponent, rockets also have a very high chance to hit. Um, again, personal experience. And uh, how about we take down one, one more, one more Harv, just, just, just have a little fun. But look at that. Uh, come here, Mr. Harv. So... We got, ah, oh, we took him down, and uh, we're, there's another group that's gonna go. Look at that, and then our rockets should be back very, very soon. So, when you wait for your rockets, make sure that your rockets actually come back. Because if you have strong rockets, that they're gonna take a lot longer than usual to, uh, to get back. So, remember, 
the amount of uh, times that you can fire your rockets it all depends on which kind of rockets you have because if you have strong rockets they're gonna do a massive amount of damage in a very short amount of time however you have a very very long cooldown and uh, that can be a thing that you may like so let's go up here and uh you know what we'll, like the video will be a course of me going going through the entire part of a gas gun. So, so the, he's the enemy is running right now. He's gonna turn around, and I'm gonna take I, I'm gonna take both of his mines and his uh, and his life with him. So if you guys saw how big of the AOE was, the enemy was not next to the to the mine. It was he he actually had some distance there. So, uh yeah, my aim computer was still up, so I was take, taking them out very easily. Um, you know, make sure you use your aim computer to its fullest. Don't waste your aim computer on crap um, that are, you know, that you know you can just one shot or two shot. Um, make, make sure you use your computer very, very wisely, and that should be it. Now these um, thermos, look at that. Watch this. Oh my gosh, the the you know, do you see how hard the HP bar was shaking? Like that's how you know that it is doing a lot of damage at a time. Like, like it is insane how much damage um, they're able to do. And stop missing! Ah, uh, take both of you down. Easy. Okay, so let's collect this BP. Some energy from it. Very nice. And now we're gonna go up here. Now in Gazika, they have these. They have do. They do have these units called the Signors. So you gotta be careful about those guys as well. And I think they're on the next field. Leaf. Make sure you shoot your rockets. Aim computer. Bam! Look at that. It will take all these guys out before they even launch their stun dome. So here are the Signors. These guys are a lot more bulkier, so let's see how many shots. One crit, and the other crit destroys them. As you guys can see, a crit does an insane amount of damage to these guys. But if when it doesn't crit, it only does about like a, a, th a third of the damage at a time. And rockets, I believe, instant kill. No, no, rockets do about... I say 87%, which is still really, really good. 87% for rockets? Eh, that's pretty good. Let's see if I can take out these assassin. Oh, one shot's the assassin. And then my blasters my blasters do two shots on them. But keep in mind, the crit rate, if you have an aim computer up, is really, really high. So it helps the storm out immensely in surviving um, the planet and surviving in general. This is just because of that of that um, critical hit rate and that hit rate all right keep in mind hit rate and critical hit rate is and it gives the rocket so much more accuracy it's just insane how much this storm can do and that is the main reason why people pick the storm class which is a very nice class very very nice all right so we're gonna fight a little bit higher detonators these are level 64 and how about we thermal them let's see how, how fast they die yeah Look at that. Oh my gosh, he, he just he just got toasted. Man got toasted. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot a rocket. Blaster miss. But rockets hit and it and it's gonna kill him right there. Bam. Very easy. Not bad at all. Okay, refill on energy. And the, the storm class actually does a pretty good job of clearing areas. Clearing areas is one of the storm's best jobs because it, they just do so much so much um, in a very little amount of time that you probably don't even need that much time oh yeah look at that so well we're almost done clearing this area and we are only a drag ship keep in mind all right drag ship well drag ship with ancient tech <laughs> a drag ship with ancient rockets and ancient thermal blocks. very very important key components of the storm plan key key components if you have these components as ancient you're pretty set look at the amount of freaking vps we got like clearing areas is the storms one of the storms highest priorities and we crit with the uh, blasters i think that was a crit on blaster not the crit on rocket but it shouldn't matter we still took them 
Ow. Very nice. All right, so let's uh, let's shoot the middle one. Ow, where you going? Can I select it, please? And as you guys can see, bam! It you no, know, it just demolishes the guys. They don't do anything too special. Make sure to heal. Make sure to heal. Make sure to heal. Always remember to heal. So the custodian commander is 65, a little bit tougher, but look at that. It will take him out very easily. Resurrectors are a little bit more um, armored up in Draconis, so. Ooh, how about we show up the perforator? This guy think he's safe, huh? No, you're not. Look at that. We just go straight through it. And um, let's see. Let's shoot something with a uh, shield. Re that resurrected. Alright, so he's got to put up his shield. Look. Or is he not going to be able to? Is he not going to be able to? No, he's not going to be able to. Huh? I didn't know that. Look at that. Uh, this guy has a lot of armor. Right now, I wish I had a name. Alright, so in these tight situations, the storm can actually get itself out uh, relatively easily if you have the correct cooldowns. Um, and you get lucky with your um, with your uh, rockets. However, I think healing is a little bit more important. Come back! And I will destroy you! Ha oh, oh. ha! Look at that, a gold drop. This is not bad. I got a gold drop. Um, they're still following me. I don't like this. Take out the custodian commander with that. There it is. Let's go pick up that gold and let's see if we'll find out. What was it? Alright, so these guys are a little bit tougher. They're gonna activate. They, they didn't even get... They didn't have time to activate. So these guys right here, they like to run away, right? We're gonna, we're gonna see. Look at that. Rockets will always, always chase their opponent until they either reach their opponent or they um, or they miss. Which if they miss, then you know they miss. But that's just missing. Oh, this guy's trying to run. He sees it coming. He's like, no, that rocket. No, I mean. So, all right, so let's try that again, cause that, cause when the repo grubs when they run away, it's hilarious, right? Oh my gosh, I crit and I killed them instantly. All right, let's uh, let's here a crit and kills the assassin. Not that bad. So the yeah, the storm class, as you can see, they have very very good firepower. No shame, man. No shame. Very strong firepower as well. Alrighty. So, Storm Class. Let's keep going here. Um, Perforator lets you go through shields. Nothing more, nothing less. And now we're getting head. We're heading to the territory of the strong units. Keep in mind, strong units is where all the you know, shady stuff happens, right? So let's test out this strong thermal blaster. This mine layer. I'm gonna put on my barely survives because I didn't put on uh, put on my um my uh my perf fast enough. But as you guys can see, we're gonna shoot some of these marauders and they put up their shields and we cut through it immediately. None of the shield is lost. That means we're sh we're shooting straight through the shield. Um, we're hitting. We're going through their hit points and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, if you have the, any type of, you know, good perf, the rare perf does pretty good amount of damage. Energy. Rocket blaster. That's a kill. So, yeah, like, like I said before, the blasters, if you're able to shoot your blasters and then your, and then your rocket hits it, um, and make sure your blaster has to hit, right? The blasters hit, that's a gold right there. Ah, uh, I, I didn't get it fast enough. Couldn't read them. <laughs> it's okay. We have lots and lots of opportunities to do this. Ooh, there's a cryo. Oh. And repo grubs die pretty fast, so that's why they gotta run immediately. Let's see. 
It is so funny to see rockets chase these guys, especially when they hit. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, so now they got, yeah, he got game scrambler up. Ooh, they activated immediately. Okay. Fine with that. We're gonna take down this resurrector first, though. Gonna make sure he dies first. Look at that. When we crit, even when their aim scrambler is up. We do, we're able to go through the aim scrambler relatively easy. And um, we just gotta, you know, sometimes we might get unlucky and, you know, our blasters miss because of their aim scrambler. Remember, aim scrambler is all about number, random number generator, which allows you to either miss or, miss or hit an attack. Alright, so these custodian commander, commanders are top level. Bam, but they are down in two hits. Down, 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 two hits. Very nice. The tank class would have taken a lot longer to kill these guys because they only have blasters. They can't compensate with aggro bomb because aggro bomb takes a long, 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 long time to uh, to uh, come back. So that's why the tank class will have a lot longer time dealing with these guys than any other class in the game. All right, so we got two signors. Okay, three signals. It's gonna be bad. Nah, I don't think it's bad. Ooh, I thought he was gonna die. All right, so remember, kill yourself at the right time. All right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that signal burn. And uh, that's it. Very easy. Not bad at all. Not bad. So really high firepower from the storm class, as you guys can see there. And it grinds really good, even on Gazaga. Remember, these are just level seventy, you know, level seventy blasters and level seventy um, rockets. <laughs> the level seventy guys, you know what I mean? They're just, you know, just a level seventy. Boom! All right, so this man has a shield, but look at that. The storm class can just rip through the shield because they have such a high amount of attack that doesn't even matter. Oh no, 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 you don't run. Oh, you get lucky. You get lucky. <laughs> you get lucky. All right. So this is where um, most people go to grind when they're grinding from their 60 to level 70 chips. So that's why I'm going to go here. Bam. All right. So it looks like I got stunned, but that's okay. Go in slowly. Oh, look at this. Oh, my blasters aren't doing as much damage as I want them to be, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. He is fine with that. Do not worry. Bam. Can I shoot a rocket at him? He instantly dies. The rockets do a lot of damage, so one of the most strongest um, attack in the game. So, rockets, pure power, destruction. Never ending. Ancient rockets, yo. He didn't even get a chance to use his rep droid. That's how strong we hit him. Not bad. Th yeah, that signal didn't do anything to us. He couldn't even try. Look at that. We crit him twice. He's gone. Let's try this guy. How good are you, sir? You were dead. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Very easy to do. I'm gonna burn this guy, right? Watch his HP just climb. Just it just steeps down. All right, this guy is not gonna see anything coming. He is able to live a hit, but not fast enough to react to the hit. Ha ha! All right, so let's try jousting. Yeah, I win. Woo! Not that bad, right, guys? Not that bad. Alright, so as you guys can see, whenever whenever I have my aim computer up, almost all the time I hit my rockets and none of the time that I have missed so far. So yeah, just, that's that's the main role of the of the storm class, is just do a lot of damage, very, very massive amount of damage at a time. And its AoE um, compact ability is you know is compensated very well of the high and sheer amount of damage that 
rockets. Being support of the of the storm class is always fire off your rockets. Um, even if you don't have an aim computer, just make sure you shoot your blaster. You know, shoot your blaster once and then fire off the rockets. And they most of the time should hit. I was trying to demonstrate there, but I don't think it works. Um, anyways, but you know, most of the time for me, that's the, you know that's 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 the key. But it's not. Um, support class for storm class is very well, although the storm class may take the aggro. Um, you know, may overtake the aggro because you know of the sheer amount of damage that it does. And always use your thermal blaster when it comes back, unless your opponent is about to die in the next four seconds. Um, you know, just use your th thermal blaster, use your rockets. You know, you know, you know, you know just, just, you know, just do, just do your normal thing in storm class, and you should be a great, great storm pilot. All you gotta get used to is that. Um, is that annoying uh, three button to, uh, to shoot your rockets and your four is your actual rep key that in mind Ooh, that resurrector lived I want I'm gonna, I'm gonna thermal you all right but I keep him busy with the thermal he goes down this guy also goes down and there's a gold. Look at that, man. We are dropping gold like it's a mine. Goodbye. Yep. 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 Pretty easy to play Thorn class. And also, since you don't have any, you know, type of defense, make sure that you run away at the right time, and make sure you run away at the time where you can take one more hit running away, because the Storm class is pretty fast, so it's able to miss so it's able to run away quite fast and take approximately just one hit from the enemy and it's probably going to be able to get away with it um and also keep in mind that you know, the storm class does you a lot use a little bit more e than uh, normal because you're you know firing off rockets using thermal using the aim computer using the perf if your enemies has a shield um, most of the components of the storm class is actually usable a lot so the storm class is a little bit more you know pushy buttons instead of the, you know the tank just hold down the one key that's it that's all you need to know <laughs> you know what i mean but you know the storm class is pretty easy and um shouldn't be too hard to learn now the play style again is really really easy shoot off your rockets when you have a chance put it on your aim computer that will give you a huge accuracy increase and a huge, and I mean huge, um, uh, critical hit, hit, hit rate and, ac no, and accuracy once again. But, uh, let's see, what, what else, what else, let's see, we got supportive, we got play style in there already, we got solo play. Now, if you're playing like a solo pilot in a storm class, you should be pretty successful because you can grind by yourself, you can, um, you can do a lot of missions by yourself as well because you have a lot of uh, of uh, components that deal damage, and you know you can just kill your opponents really fast. And um, let's see what else. You know, you just be able, you're just able to grind and find blueprints. Also, another thing, if you're playing Storm, you should always look for the rockets, aim computer, um, rockets, aim computer, and blaster first because those are going to be your main damaging components. If you don't have a thermal blaster, don't worry about that because your rockets are the one that's going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, so solo play should be relatively easy for storm class, and you know shouldn't be too hard to understand at all. Relatively easy, and I think that is it. The only thing that I do have concern for the storm class is that you know it only has a decent amount of armor. It doesn't have a lot of armor. So keep that in mind when you are uh, um, when you are in the storm class. You don't have any defense. Your only defense is offense. And my blasters are missing way too much. So keep that in mind. Your offense is your defense, and same goes the other way. So make sure you kill your opponents fast. You destroy them. You you know you take down your opponents with aggression. And I think that is it for the storm class. With that being said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Push that like button and destroy the you know destroy the like button. What why did I say push? I'm I meant to say destroy that like button. 
and uh, if you enjoy the video i hope you guys once again enjoy this video damn i i, I really need to find a different way to end the video but with that being said i'll see you guys next time on pirate galaxy i'll see you guys then ah i wanted to, i wanted to make it an epic getaway but uh oh well <laughs> see you guys then